Hi everyone, it's Steve. This video is about using set copy. Set copy is when you want to take the line access, the line appearances, uh, the intercom keys, things of system programming nature, and copy them to another set. Now, why would you want to do this? Well, as an installer, when you're installing, say, you know, 40 or 50 phones, this is really handy because you can just make one prototype phone and then copy it to all the other phones. Um, but as a user or as an administrator, set copy can be handy when you're adding a new phone or you're trying to solve a problem um, with a phone. So let's take an example here. I've got this set right now, which is 224, and then I've got a set down below it here. You can see that. I've got another set right below it, which is 221. Now the problem I have that I'm using as an example is this, this set is set up with four lines, two intercom keys, and a hands-free. This phone down here, while it's labeled the same, you know, one, two, three, four, intercom, intercom, and hands-free, it's not programmed correctly. So if I did a button inquiry, I could see that these are actually not the lines, these are not the intercom keys. I want to solve that problem by copying a working phone that's just the way I want it to a target phone to make it have the same kind of line in the intercom programming. All right, so let's show you how you do that. Let's get the camera where you can see the screen there. Okay, I'm going to enter programming, the configuration programming feature, star star 266344. Password is 266344. I'm going to go down to, oh, right here, terminals and sets. I want to show terminals and sets. I want to enter the extension number of the, of the model phone. In other words, the phone that is working the way I want, that I want to copy, it uses the source for my copy. So I'm going to enter 2224. Okay. Now, when I do that, this word copy appears right here. So I'm going to hit copy. Now, in the newer versions of the software, it will ask you two choices. Do you want to copy system data or do you want to copy system plus user data? Real quick, what's the difference? System data is line access, line pool access, uh, restrictions, uh, anything that's done in system programming, the amount of intercom keys, whether it has hands-free mute or not. User data is the individual programming of special keys. So for instance, all these keys up here at the top, these auto dial keys, you know, they might have their their, their friends' phone numbers programmed in here. They may have special functions programmed in here. Those are in user data. What I recommend is only copying the system data. Okay, so I'm going to copy system data. Hit next. It's going to ask me, do I just want to do one single copy, or the other choice is to do a range. I'm just going to do one. Okay, so I'm going to copy a single. Next. Now, where do I want to copy to? What's the phone set that I'm trying to make behave just like my model phone. Well, I said that the one below this, 221, or 2221, is the one that's having trouble, so I'm going to enter in 2221. Okay, now it just copied that. All right, once you're done, you can just simply hit release and leave the programming mode. And what it's done now is that all the line access, the number of intercom keys, hands-free, any kind of restrictions, any kind of line access or line pool access, all that information that was programmed on this phone has now been copied down to my other phone. And I can prove that that's true by doing a feature star zero. And I can see line one, line two, line three, line four. I've got two intercom keys, I've got hands free. Okay, so that's set copy. And it works best if you're copying phones that are already uh, similar models. You know, these I've show, shown you are 7310s. Um, you can copy from a 7310 to a 7208 to a 7324. I don't recommend it, but you can do it. Um, and, um, but I like to, when I use set copy, I like to just do it between sets that are, are similar models. Okay, so I hope that helps somebody solve some problems, and uh, thanks for watching.